Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to create a Nebula filter by using Filter Forge Editor. So this will require some knowledge, at least intermediate advanced knowledge of the Filter Forge. Um, you can also download this filter and view how it works from the Filter Forge website. Just search for filters from Geek at Play. As well, you will find an uh, updated version of the um, Nebula filters when using advanced controls and multi layers and some additional um, effects that and filters I was applied to make it a little bit more complex. So for now, we'll just using um, building this Nebula filter. So let's begin with a filter and one thing in Filter Forge. I want to go create and I'll click on a new image. For this, I want to create um, 1024 by 1024 resolution. If your computer is a little bit slower, you can create a smaller size, 600 by 600, or um, however is will compatible with your settings. So we'll click OK. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, proceed to Filter Editor. This is an option that comes with Filter Forge Professional Edition. So we'll click and selecting is create a new filter. So at this point, when we open, we come to Filter Forge Editor. If you're not familiar with the nodes, I do recommend you to check out our tutorials. It's um, discovering Filter Forge Editor when we gone through all components and explain and look how they work. So right here we have our result, and if you look on the um, our filters, you notice we have it as several layers. Let's look what is those layers. One, you'll notice we have the stars on the background. We also have it a large cloud, and we have a smaller kind of more higher energy cloud on the middle. So overall, we probably will have it about three layers. However, the stars may include more layers as well because we have the star clusters, we have a single bigger cluster, uh, stars, we also add a little bit more color to our stars. So let's begin by creating our star layers. Um, we'll begin by going inside noise and we'll take Perlin noise, let's place it, this is, will be our one of the star creation. I'm going also to the controls and let's drag and put it color. Okay, this is will be for distance um, cluster star clusters. We'll go right here and maybe let's select the purple closer to the black. And I'll go ahead and collect to the noise. Okay, and next we'll go inside and let's set a couple settings. One, what I want to do is go ahead put a roughness to 100%. Okay, and it will pop up contrast a little bit higher. So maybe about some around 68. Okay, we'll take our scale and uh, just a little bit down. Okay, we don't need any stretch, no angle. Details will leave it on 100 and the same variation. Um, you know, color maybe it's a little bit too bright, so let's go ahead and bring it down to saturate it darker. So, right here, kind of background matching for this. Okay, um, also, I want to slightly work on profile. So, I'll go ahead and take a curve okay, and go to profile. Okay, and our curve, I want to actually modify so we have it, you can see we have it much less um, kind of distance, more clustering starting again with color, they kind of blending on the background, but they give it a nice feel with that. Okay, so right here we have it one layer of the um, stars, so let's add another. Okay, and for this we'll go again in a noise and we'll just take cells for this. Okay, as a cells we'll just leave it the same color. This will be 
bright stars that we have it. Um, I want to provide some control for the users. Again, like for example, this color, um, we can go ahead and call So in this way, um, the name that I'm providing right now, this is what end user, when you create the filter, it's what they will see. So in some ways, try to describe, but uh, again, this can be um, a semantic type of the naming. So it will be related to um, describe, describe the functionality. In that case, when they look, they know, okay, on this filter, this is what will modify it. So if I just put it, a color for the pearl and noise it won't be referenced to anything okay, so we have it cell filter let's go back to this and um let's add i want control roughness a little bit on this we'll go to controls okay and we'll just take a slider and connect here and let's go ahead and name this um start um, brightness okay. and we we'll can set to 21 on this right now inside um, here we're going to modify one I want to take contrast and going up to 90 so we have a very good contrast on this um, we'll leave it formula f1 we'll take a scale and actually get down to maybe 24 somewhere on this scale okay stretch we won't touch it we'll leave it everything open and um, just slightly maybe pop up on details okay um, the one thing I want again use it profile right here to control contrast and amount of this we'll go ahead and um, I'll just select this Control C, Control V, copy paste. So we have some settings. We'll go select a profile for this, and maybe take a base and just even more cut down. So you can see right here we start having those stars, even less. And at this point we start kind of controlling. So we have the star available for us. Again, we can go from this value and modify it, and you can see. It's in some, we can set how many we want of those stars. Okay, so this is um, a layers for our star. This is distant star cluster. This is one star. So let's create um, one more layer of the stars. And we'll just use it, uh, same type cell. Okay, only, um, I want to actually create color stars. So let's control C, control V. Sometimes I like copy paste. Just save a little bit time. Okay, so we'll go right here. Um, we'll probably just reuse the same profile. In that case, um, we will have some similar type of the lighting on them. A um, couple things what I want to do it is change on the um, noise color. So for that, we'll go in the noises we'll take our pearl and noise okay next um i'm going inside gradients and i will take just spectrum so we'll, now we need to combine them and for that actually i'm going to use the elevation map and we take and go right here and gradient right this point um, now we need to work a little bit on pearl and noise to create kind of more um, star type okay let's work on a roughness okay so we'll go ahead we'll leave black and white we'll take roughness maybe even about 86 around that area and we'll go ahead pop pop contrast so we'll have it nice um, kind of coloring going around 28, so let's scale again 
this is maybe too much on the scale for this. Uh, but that one will be right. Okay, we don't want to stretch anything. We'll just leave it details, everything same. So it will provide for us right here. Okay, um, next we'll go ahead and let's connect this to the noise. So you'll notice right here we start having all these colors going around. And um, let's also have it. We'll take our color stars. And we'll just go ahead and connect this to roughness as well. So at this point we have different colored stars. We have white stars. And we have our start clusters. So let's go ahead and connect all of them together. And we'll start using our blend modes for this. We'll go inside um, processing. We'll go take blend. Okay, and what I want to do, I want to actually connect first clusters with the color. Because they're both kind of Will be affecting colors okay and right here between these you can actually work a little bit more with the you want it but I found out probably in the middle will work well um, combined between both of them so they kind of nicely set on the background at this point Okay, and next, actually, what I want to, instead of using Blender to combine the stars in this, I want to go ahead and use it, um, noise production, and we'll go to Pearl and Noise. Okay, and we'll go to connect um, stars and this producing right here. So it will, in this case, it will mix them together. It's not just overlay. With Pearl and Noise, it will take and kind of distributing them between the white and um, backgrounds and color and kind of very nice mixing them, not just overlaying. But again, right here, you can go ahead and see how much roughness you want applied to complexity. So in that case, a mix between color and white as well, um, mostly in contrast, it's going to be affecting. So we'll just a little bit pop up roughness. Uh, we'll leave it everything as default and again this point we have a very nice mix between color some distance so again this is our background kind of drop for our stars okay in this case also if we want it we can control in the future for more expanded but for this we kind of done now to creating our star layers so in next tutorials we'll go ahead and start working on um, clouds or nebula cloud itself.